Hi everyone, Brightbone here, back with another episode of the Weekly Purple Team. This week we're taking a look at WSAS. Now, WSAS is a LSAS dumping product basically made by 2713, uh, 271T's security. 2713, they've, got, they've done some very interesting security research here. In particular, they have created a method, create process as PPL, to elevate a process at the command line into protected process light. Well, that's what your EDR runs as. That's what LSAS runs as. So once you're in that particular level, you can then mess with other processes in there, right? So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to take a look at WSAS. Uh, EDR freeze has made a lot of news. It does work. It will freeze the EDR in place. But what I've found is that in a lot of cases, once you freeze the EDR in place, the system is unusable. <laughs> it might crash. So I didn't think that was a great demo. But we'll take a look at WSAS today. We'll do the purple teaming of LSAS dumping with WSAS. All right, so let's take a look at that. I'm going to jump over here to Win10 Host 2. And we have WSAS here and we're fault secure. We do have Defender enabled, okay? Now, I will warn you, I had to jump through hoops to get this by Defender. It did not like it at all. There's some obfuscation that I had to do, uh, taking out some pieces of the binary, removing comments. There's a lot of pieces I had to do to get WSAS to where it doesn't trigger immediately upon download, right? Uh, where Fault Secure is a Microsoft application. As you can see, if we go to properties here, this is a Microsoft application. It's digitally signed by Microsoft. And the details are it's made by Microsoft Corporation. So this is always going to get by as it's part of Windows fault reporting. This is a old binary though. This shouldn't really be in your network, right? You're not going to typically see where fault secure out there. This is an old binary. So let's go ahead. We'll execute our attack here. We're going to run WSAS. We're going to give it where fault secure.exe. That's what it's pushing into. Uh, and then we're going to give it process 820. In process 820, if we take a look, that is LSAS.exe. So we're going to dump that out. So we'll go ahead and we'll dump that out. And as you can see, we have now created a proc file. Notice that comes out as a PNG file because that's what Warefault Secure natively uses, right? So we need to upload this and then we have to use a hex editor to change it. So we're going to go ahead and upload this. So I'll go ahead and choose a file. I've got Updog on my Kali box here. And we'll take proc. And we're just going to go open here and upload. And then what you need to do is you need to change the header. And I'll show you guys what what it says here on the WSAS binary, we're going to do exactly this. You need to change the initial bytes, right? It's a PNG file. You can't read it with PyPyCats. You can't read it with, uh, with your typical reading methodologies, Mimikatz, all of those tools, because, well, it's wrong bytes in the beginning. So we have to take and put this hex in the beginning of that. So we'll do 4D, 4, 4, 4D, 5, 0, right? So we'll come back over here to our Kali box. And then we're going to stop updog. And then we're going to do hex edit proc.png. Now notice these first four bytes here, right? 89504E47. That's the header for a PNG file, right? So we need to just change this to MDMP. So we'll let me jump back over here, just make sure I've got it right. So it's going to be 4D44, 4D50. So we go 4D. 4, 4, 4, D, 5, 0, and then Control W for save. And notice it saves it down. Then we can just Control C out of it. Now you can take PyPyCats and you just do LSA mini dump and proc.png. And there you go. You have your dump. 
And here are the hashes. You can see host 2110, which is the victim that we've done. And you see the anonymous logon. There's some administrator stuff here. But yeah, you get the idea. On a host that has uh, hashes in LSAS that you're trying to get, you can get them this way. Right. So here's Bruce Wayne right here. There's your NT hash for Bruce Wayne. So that's an example of how to do WSAS. Now, like I said, I'll warn you. Um, I had to do quite a bit of obfuscation to get this by on first push. The uh, simple download with an encrypted zip worked to get WareFault and WSS on the box by smart screen, but then the binary has to be obfuscated enough that it can live on disk without Defender tripping on it, which this is a fairly new binary. I'm sure their signatures will get better. As if we take a look here on the project, it's only about two weeks old. So your mileage may vary here, but just realize that this kind of technique, there's going to be a lot of research done on this going forward, I have a feeling. And you're going to be able to do things that you might not expect with this particular technique. All right. So that is the red. We have been able to successfully dump hashes out of memory using WSAS on a modern system. Now, the reason I didn't show Windows 11, it does work on Windows 11 as well, is that Windows 11 by default has Credential Guard. So what you're dumping out basically useless. I would have had to have edited Windows 11 to make sure the credential guard was not in place to dump that out. So I just use Windows 10. It does work fully on Windows 11 and it's tested on Windows 11 as well. So as you can see here, works on modern Windows 11. It's even right there in the description. It does. Um, but it's just why obfuscate and fight two different versions of Defender if I can demo it on one. All right, so let's find this. Let's find this from a blue team perspective. If we jump over here to our Elastic Sim, we're going to be looking for process execution, right? So the first thing we're going to look for, event code one and where fault, right? Because what's really doing the execution here is where fault secure, right? Where fault secure, once it's promoted to a protected process, can access LSAS. So that's what's happening. WSAS is literally just promoting it and handing in the value. So there should be very little times in your network where you're seeing where fault secure run. So if we take and we look at event code one <coughs> and where fault here, just like so, we'll see right here, this is our execution of WSAS. And if you look, you can see there's where fault secure is the original file name. Here is the command line that was passed in. Notice the process ID. PID 820. Now, if I just ran where fault secure, this doesn't work. Why? Because it's not in a protected process level. It has to be escalated to a protected process level first. Now, if we look closely, you can see the parent command line also was wsas.exe. So, uh, adversary can rename the binary, but looking for where fault secure running in your network from a standard user or a user that's not um, a, a local administrator. This is not common, something you can totally trigger on, right? All right, so that's our first detection. The second detection of this is I would look for the file it creates. This is another good detection because if you have Sysmon, well, let's do this first. We'll do one and 4688 because these vary. Notice if you do event code one, you get the parent process and you get more value, right? But this implies you have sysmon. If you do or 4688, you will get the Windows variant of this. I should probably show this as well. Notice you will see where fault secure right here. And you'll see the process name, the creator process name was WSS in this case. And there's the process ID that I fed to it. So you can get it with 4688. You don't get hashes with 4688. You do with one. If you find badness with uh, event code one, you can take that hash, put it in your EDR and block it everywhere, which is exactly what you want to do. But that's not the case with the 4688 event ID. Okay, as I mentioned, we would look for event code 11 for proc 
file creation. Now, when WhereFault runs, it always creates a PNG file. So we can look for the creation of PNG files. In this case, we'll do star rock dot PNG star. And there we go, we have one, right? And if we take a look at this, this is, we can see proc.png was created in downloads from wsas.exe, right? It can't see that Wherefault created that because it's in a different level, but it does see that this was created by wsas.exe. So looking for the creation of proc.png because that's hard coded into the binary would be a good idea. I don't think adversaries are going to go as far as trying to change that. All right. Now that's it for this week. Once again, please like and subscribe to the channel and hack the planet to defend better.